guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4 here in our Basilius into Roman Empire campaign. Hope you're all having a good day. And uh, we're going to take this ahead of time. I want that innovativeness. I want those tactics. I want those men. He's got some men around, but I don't think we're going to be worrying about it. So we're going to go ahead and just update him right now. Um, go ahead and send these guys up to Liege. And uh, as soon as we siege down Dijon... Dijon A will we'll be able to piece them out. So, we have Helena, the Zealot. Very cool. So, these conversions should go a bit quicker. Uh, lost a stab, so I will go ahead and boost that up for 57 points. That's good, man. That's real good. That's real good. Matter of fact, I'm leaning towards boosting it again, but I think we're okay. Anyways, question of the day. Let me think here. What do you guys think about the culture conversion? We're gonna start doing a question of the day. I want to let you. I want you guys to be chatting with me in the comments a bit more. You guys have been awesome about it, and I want to make a more of a conversation about things, right? So, question of the day: What do you think about culture converting the one culture? We had a few people that left a comment, but not a lot of. I didn't get a whole lot of opinions on it. What do you think about the you know European one culture, all Greek slash Roman? I'm curious what you think. So, these guys are finally not. What in the world? Why do they? Oh right, because I'm not uh, influencing them anymore. No, I just need to give them another gift. Whenever we peace out Venice, we'll be able to do that. So, ooh, let's uh, let's see. Oh, I won that siege, so let's go ahead and just peace him out. I will do this. I will take all your monies. I will annul your alliances. No, you're not allied to him. That's fine. Beautiful. Black flag now, so we're safe. Aragon is going to want out as well, but I think I can just peace out right now. Don't care a whole lot. Just want that one province. Uh, I could take Venice if I was wanted to be a, just like a maniac, but it's all good. I probably should just like white piece Aragon though. I think that's probably in my best interest. Keep the truce nice and short. Gonna have some rebels over here for sure. That'll happen. It's all good. I think I was already a royal married to him. Send him a gift. Vassalize him next month, making progress over here on um, Naples, which is nice. Get all that converted. Look at that, beautiful. Greek Orthodox Roman Empire. Sound got just such a nice ring to it. Let's go ahead and have you guys led by Sergius. Easy peasy. Go ahead and. Have you guys come on over here to Adana? The Eternal City. Annihilate Venice. Wow, I like the sound of that. So I have to own all of this. So the northern border, conquer the Balkans. Jeez, man. So I need to take this and Lika. And get permanent claims on this stuff up here. When I take that. I'll get permanent claim on Venetia. Venetia? Venetia? Yeah, I think it's pronounced Venetia. So, we're gonna do that. That's awesome. Go ahead and repay some loans. Is this woods or is it? Yeah, it's woods. So I don't know if I want to do this fight. Oh, I can't do the fight anyways. Ooh, grasslands. Sounds good, man. Look at our general superior as well. Might even be a stack wipe. Oh, ho, ho, baby. Oh, I love it. I love it. So, Verden wants out. Aragon. Well, I'll white piece them. That's fine. And then uh, Naples, or not Naples, Venice. I want this. I want all your money. I want you to give me all that money. And I want you to annul your alliances. Yep, that's what you're going to do. You're going to come on up here. We're going to go ahead and blockade you. 
There we go. Now we can get the piece. Have any other alliances we should know about? Nope, just Aragon. So he's doomed now. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and uh, increase autonomy, core it up. Autonomy is nice and low because we already had it stated. So that's good. Triumph for the Balkans, gain army tradition. Do we need it? Oh, we don't need it, but I'll take it. 20 prestige though. So let's go ahead and um, what's his liberty desire? Because I think I would like to, well, let's go ahead and enforce religion on him and then placate his rulers, keep him loyal, and then we will do that click there, and then we will convert for him. It's gonna take some time. Royal marriage from Naples, sounds good to me. We got 16K, he's making progress there. So, we have a permanent claim on Dulcadir. We need to vassalize you. And I think we can immediately declare on him. Russia's not gonna help him, so this totally makes sense. Let's do that war. Go ahead and just send these guys over there. Don't think we need this stack. The 20 stack is probably fine. Oh yeah, we're good. And that will allow Georgia to take all of this land here, and then we can attack Shirvan as well. Timmy would help, possibly. Timmy lost all of his vassals, so Timmy is not strong. He's not strong like us. We're actually below our naval force limit, if you can believe it. Go ahead and protect trade in Alexandria. See if we can steer some of that beautiful trade up our way. All right, looking good, looking very good. Keep on converting everything. Now there is there one that gives conversion speed? No, just ideas. These Diplo ideas are going to be super helpful. Go ahead and take over that siege from you guys. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful. I love taking over sieges like that. Uh, Dalmatia can have unrest. I don't care. Go ahead and give it to Georgia. Devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> love that. I always think of that every time I look at it. This old, like, southern song from the U.S. <laughs> uh, so he's not a siege leader. So let's go ahead and send Alexios over there. Siege guy. There we go. Getting everything converted. Let's go ahead and convert Naples land for him. Let's actually sort by unity. Uh, yep, that's fine. Wait, what's the timing on that? Nine months for each of them. Feels good, man. Jeez. Okay, so France is buying some trade, or some, uh, companies. We would need to start preparing, because we want to, um, make our way towards... Do we want to just keep St. Michael? We've been super, super heavy on the conquest. I don't see why we wouldn't just keep it, because we're going to consecrate some Metropolitans anyways. Um, I think that's fine. One less Diplo a month, and then the next one will actually get two plus Diplo rep, which is super nice. We got our discipline as well. Still broke alliance with Portugal. Interesting. What's that about? What is that about, actually? They're friendly. They're probably going to re-up their alliance here next month or something. Some weird janky uh, AI mechanics going on over there. Royal marriage with Castile has ended. Let's just go ahead and break that alliance. I don't need them. I will probably ally France. He'll be more useful in the long term. Castile has a tendency to send all of his men overseas, which is super annoying. Alright, so you're going to return all your cores to Georgia. We might be able to just take it right now. Very good. Not his capital, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Economy is booming. I honestly am just so blown away at how good the economy's been. 
Might as well spend some more Diplo points looking to see if we can fish a PU. PU with Burgundy would be nice. Wouldn't even need France, you know? Let's go ahead and make sure he is a included in there. Converting things sounds good. Uh, uh, we should probably make sure that uh, Georgia is orthodox as well. There we go. Look at that beautiful orthodox Italy. Oh no, it's getting com it's getting converted. Feels bad. You hate to see it happen, folks. You hate to see it happen. Just with Genoa is up. All right. Naval stuff. Oh, you're so annoying. That is so annoying. All right. <laughs> uh. Yeah, they're just gonna keep on doing that to be annoying. All right. Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna kill your whole navy now since you're being a punk. This is what you deserve. You get what you deserve. You reap what you sow, boy. Keep that professional army coming. There you go. This is what you get. You, you deserve that, and I feel no sympathy for you. Made me lose some money from trade. Punk boy. Ooh, truce is up with these guys. We're going to immediately declare. We're just going to go a reconquest war for, uh, let's go for like this sentence. Tara Bulus al Sham. There we go. That's This is going to be a fun one. I wasn't keeping track of that. Let's, we can probably get this piece right now, so we might as well do it. Let's uh, take whatever money he's willing to give us, get that piece. There we go. That's a beautiful looking Georgia. Needs some provinces converted, but there's no zeal there either. So we'll get that converted eventually. Let's get you guys down um, here. What? What do heck? What do heck? All right, let's get you guys brought over to uh, There we go. Nope. There we go. Still don't understand why that happens. Ionis is not a very good heir, so we're just gonna go ahead and disinherit him. <coughs> Burgundy still doesn't have an heir, which is good for us. Let's go ahead and get a uh, general over there. Poland is no longer a valid rival, which feels bad, but it happens. Go ahead and convert some stuff for him. Ugh, disgusting. Disgusting. Dalmatia, whenever we're done with our core. Gonna stack wipe his navy real quick. Or at least kill a lot of them. I always like that. Drop them off. And we can just go ahead and have you guys go back to protecting trade in Alexandria. Can't beat it. This is Dryland, so we might as well get over there, right? If he doesn't, he doesn't want any of this. Very good. Tomas. That's fine. Let's, uh, Trajan. I think was, somebody had recommended Trajan as a, as an heir. So let's go ahead and go with Trajan, see how he does. Generally, I like to give my Patreon supporters my heir name, but, uh, Culture conversion cost in Aiden area. Yeah, we're not going to be doing that anytime soon. But yes, that's a habit that I've kind of fallen away from, and I apologize to all my Patreon guys. When I'm in the heat of the moment playing EU4, I always forget to do things that I say I'm going to do, so I'm sorry. What the heck? Oh my gosh, that's a large stack. Woohoo, <laughs> baby! Alright, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and scorch that earth. We're gonna go ahead and have you guys head over that way. Nope, they're gonna attack me over here now. Yeah, that's fine. Second of July. So we could be there. Oh yeah, he's fine. Go ahead and lock in. 
Beautiful. Yeah, he's taking a river crossing. No, but it is Highland, so this guy's this guy's a goner. Yeah, he's gonna. He just stack wiped himself. He didn't. But look at those men losses. <coughs> yeah, dude, you shouldn't do that. Let's go ahead and have you guys take him. Head on down to Cairo. Consort of the people. It's a nice event. Don't think we really need it though. But I'll take it. It's all around a good event. Looks like he got an heir. Feels bad, man. So let's go ahead and see if we can send him a scornful insult so he breaks the royal marriage. There we go. That way we're not losing any of that. I wonder if they lose a stab when they do that. I'm not sure actually. Excuse me. Super far ahead on Mill. Go ahead and just uh, siege him down. Mamluks don't stand a chance. I do need to be careful there. They do have their entire army in one big old stack, so. Ideally we win this one sooner rather than later. And they got a, they barrage the wall as well. They got a disease outbreak. That's what you get. Sorry, Lawrence. Wintry Pandora. My my uh my token Egyptian bro in the in the Discord. I'll take that eventually. There we go. We won the siege of Al Karak. See if we can kill off some of his cannons as well. Very good. We won the Siege of Cairo. So as soon as we kill off that cannon, we'll head back up there. Seems like they broke their siege for some reason. Which is good for us. Wow, they broke the siege and then they won it eventually, immediately anyways. That's a feels bad man. Let's go ahead and come over here, see if we can bait a fight with them. <coughs> oh, wait. oh sheesh, okay, yeah, we're fighting them, we're fighting them. We win though, no problem. We're gonna take heavy losses on that one. Still less than him though. Let's go ahead and detach half. Send you guys elsewhere and go ahead and carpet siege with these guys. Beautiful. So this war will be to return as many cores to Syria as possible. Only 20 AE? Really? What the heck? Oh, I can take that. Might even be able to take the Holy Land! Deus Vault and all of that, you know? I think we're gonna do it. So is there a reason why he's... No, it's just a demand exceeds war score. That's fine. So let's make sure um, Georgia is uh, sieging for me. Syria is sieging as well. I don't need you guys to back me up. I got the big army. I'm not concerned about them attacking me. <clears throat> So he's got all of his men down here on Cairo. I don't have a leader. I should not be... Hungary has collapsed, it says. Interesting. Let's take this fort here. Hopefully before he takes Cairo back. He's taking attrition over there, so that's good. See if we can get a couple of good fights over here. No general though. That was an oversight. He's gonna take Cairo back before we take this and I have way higher. There we go. Go ahead and get you guys down here and grouped up. Hopefully he doesn't take Cairo. Yeah, to be expected. No, wait, no, no. What? Why would you ever... Uh, I don't get that. Okay, let's go ahead and have you guys protecting trade in Alexandria. Or what I could do is if I really wanted to just destroy him. Yeah, I think we're okay with that. Alright. Um, I was gonna say I could... Switch him over to more of- wow, that's a lot of men over there. If they want to go to Al Karak, that'd be great. We can just... There we go. All 
All right, cool. So we're gonna group these guys up and we're just gonna go head hunting. See if we can get a good fight over here. Yes, attack me. Yes, you fools. You fools. Beautiful. I love it. Okay. We will get this piece. This is going to happen. Um, so let's see how his... Um, uh, did I just consolidate by accident? I did. Oh, that's unfortunate. I totally didn't mean to do that. It's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and get you guys split up over here. And we'll siege down Alexandria. We'll be good to go. Fighting rebels for them, you know. Let's go ahead and invade... Invest in production. Being ahead on admin is always nice. Let's go ahead and get Alexios in there. Let's get all our cannons over here. And let's go ahead and actually have you guys... Oh, no. We'll have them protect in Alexandria for that month. There we go. Then you guys can just hang out there. You can, you know, sit on that fort. I don't care. There we go. Very close to a truce we're looking for. There we go. Stack wipe his navy. Should be able to coerce him a bit more. Or not. That's fine too. Beautiful. As we siege down all this, we should be able to peace out with whatever we're looking for here. Go ahead and have you guys go back to protecting trade in Alexandria. And uh, we'll take whatever money we can as well after we siege this stuff down. There we go. War up seems legitimate. Seems like a good call. So let's go ahead and uh, just continue to piece him, siege him down. He's killing my... My boys. My boys. Not my boys. Where are those rebels at? Oh, I don't care. Don't care about peasants. Beautiful. We took Gaza. That's awesome. We now have, you know, now we're making our way around. So, AE is pretty bad, but it's mostly just down here. So, it's fine. I don't care. Um, we also are going to get more land to convert. And uh, we'll get it all poured up first. Jerusalem. We're not going to be able to court anytime soon, so we might as well just get work on converting it. He says, Deus Volt! 20 Patriarch Authority. You cannot beat that, man. I don't need it. I literally don't need it at all, but uh, lost to the Arabs in 634. Jerusalem was the once a center of Christian worship in the Empire. Recap its recapture is sure to boost the morale of all Christian peoples. Is there anything I can do with Patriarch Authority to spend it, aside from icons? I don't know. Well, let's just go ahead and switch over to the institution spread and embracement cost. It's fine with me. Very good. Bring our Diplo up as well, so we can get back to our annexation process. Truce with Aragon is over. So we're going to want to declare that. Pope Man. Maybe we could co belligerent Pope Man. We don't have a whole lot of AE with these guys over here. So if I take all of these islands and then Rome, I could probably make that happen. Let's go ahead and do that. I wonder if I were to. No. He wouldn't want in. Or maybe he would. I don't know. No, he wouldn't want in. So I will ally him first just to make sure that I have the uh, diplomatic stuff set up before I go to war in case something bad were to happen. We'll co-belligerent the Pope Man. We will declare the war and uh, we'll get the war sorted out in the next one. So hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget, share your support, leave a like, 300 a day, and we will keep it twice daily. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to check out the Discord or the Patreon, links are in the description down below. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.
Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yadaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damian Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.